hope I got the right kind. This right here is the main part of this video. It's massive. It's our baby's car seat. And that leads to the main part of this video, our 36 weeks update. Welcome to our video today. If you're new here, I'm John, this is Margaret. We're expecting a baby. Margaret is about to be 36 weeks along tomorrow, and we just want to, one, do a video to update you guys on what happened. Because without a video, it didn't happen. <laughs> and then just want to share a little bit about how mom's doing, how the baby's doing, and what's next, which is the birth part. Tell us about it, honey. Well, see, <laughs> there's a mom and a dad who love each other very much. But how does the baby come out, honey? Describe it. Well, you write a letter to the storks, uh -huh. and then it brings you one. Oh! First off, we really appreciate everybody's um, messages, everything that, all the well wishes that you guys sent us last week for Margaret's surgery up here. She had a checkup this morning with the surgeon and had a, an OB checkup last week and had a couple calls with our doctors. So basically, uh, the biopsy came back negative, which was wonderful. That was the best case scenario. So it was not the temporal arteritis, which the doctor thought it was because it's very unusual for an artery to just swell up, aneurysm up, whatever you want to call it. And they were not sure that it was going to be that for Margaret because most of the times this problem happens to people who over are 60. over 60. They weren't sure that that's what it was and um, we're thankful that it's not. That was going to be a bunch of very complicated stuff to deal with. Um, so instead, they got in there, he still took out the five centimeters of the artery to biopsy and check out, but it came back negative for that. In the process though, they removed the whole part that was getting big. Apparently, you can have a twisted artery. How it twisted? No ever loving clue. But apparently, they said it was kind of <laughs> a, cl a cluster, they went back and forth. It was a cluster of vessels that were twisted, but one of those was my temporal artery. That's why it was ballooning up and getting bigger and bigger and bigger, which it wasn't massive, of course, visually, but it had more than doubled in size, like we said. So anyway, all that to say, they got out the part that was bad and they left the rest of it and it's sealed off. And as of today, I've been cleared to have a whatever kind of birth plan I want to have, which is amazing. Um, I told Caitlin, all of our regularly scheduled plans are back in um, line, so she has to cooperate with that. For a while there, we didn't know if whatever happens here would keep Margaret from having a natural birth to where we might be forced to have a C-section, which we're not against it, but um, if you can do it naturally, we're gonna try to do it naturally, that's our plan. And the other thing was um, we didn't know. So that was a part of a concern that now has been resolved. It was a big part of my concern. I had to stop to change something and apparently Margaret got into the car seat. So we're gonna stop this. <laughs> the other thing that was kind of concerned us both is if, if this was temporal arteritis, then Margaret would have had to stay on medicine, which might have affected the baby. So thankfully that's not it. So long story short, mom is good, baby's good. We are weaning Margaret off of this drug and then everything should be back to normal. 
So we're thankful. We're very glad and very thankful that you guys sent your love, um, send your prayers for all the phone calls, for all of the meals. We appreciate all of it. We are in the baby's room. You guys haven't seen this in a while. The wall is different. Everything in here is different. So this is a little preview for next week <laughs> that you get to have a little room tour. We're wrapping it up. We are 99% done. So we're almost there. Car seat is huge. No, how you're doing. Yes, but I'm a little in shock. I didn't expect it to be that big, which it fits for five pounds and up. I just have to figure out how you fit a five pound baby in there, which I know she is not going to be five pounds because this child is mighty. She is going to have been on steroids for a whole month. So I know we're not having a five pound baby, but, um, but for her, her favorite activities right now, that would include hiccups daily, <laughs> sometimes three to four times a day. She loves to have the hiccups. Her um, feet are permanently implanted right up about here. Which is good. Yes, That's they what are. we want. She occasionally will shift her foot over and kick on this side, but for the most part, we like to stick to right above the liver. It's her favorite spot to kick during the day, favorite spot to kick during the night. She becomes most active, usually between about 9.30 and 10.30 p.m. Um, she becomes most quiet <laughs> around 8 to 10 a.m. <laughs> So um, we're going to have to work on getting her little cycles switched over once she's born because um, we have lots of playtime at night when mama lays down to go to bed, but that's okay because it's precious. It really is. We think that the baby will have a lot of hair coming out because uh, I have a, a lot of hair, <laughs> but also because she's been giving Margaret a lot of heartburns. And I guess that is a, what do you call it? Wives tale. A wives tale. Now, I had it bad before pregnancy, but for sure. Plus, I have a head full of hair, you have a head full of hair. There's no way we're gonna create a child that's bald. We hope. I just don't see her coming out. I wouldn't know what to do if she comes out bald. We hope. <laughs> I really won't. So. I will be in complete shock. So, this past weekend, we had a lovely baby shower. Um, actually, his sweet co-workers did one for us at work. And then sweet friends gave us one this past weekend. That wasn't at the baby shower. <laughs> and um, lots of really cute things. My mom gave us all the little sheets for her bed. We didn't have it yet. So they are currently in the process of being washed and I'm gonna finally get to put together her whole little crib. I can't wait. And then his mom gave us um, her little hospital bag or her little backpack, and I'm gonna put all of her first little things in it, and it'll come to the hospital with us. I'll have a ton more in my suitcase. I'm not a light packer. I know he's gonna do it. I know he's gonna show what I pack for the hospital. And I'm gonna absolutely flabbergast some of y'all. I apologize in advance. I'm not a light packer. Never have been. See, I was just going to wear, bring an extra set of clothes, my camera, and my laptop. What else could you want? Maybe some snacks. But worst come to worst, I'll just call my mom and she'll bring us a pizza. For some of y'all, my going to the hospital bag, you're going to just be able to totally relate to because I am not a light packer. I pack everything. Um, I'm always thinking, what might I need? What should I take? I. I'm just not a light packer. Some of y'all will relate to that perfectly. Some of you are going to go, I literally took my absolute bare necessities. The hospital provides everything. Why would you bring your own? Well, who knows, it's just me. So I'm gonna have a blast packing my bag. I'm gonna get it ready probably this next week. Um, just because we don't know when she's gonna come. I have every confidence that she is going to wait until at least 38 weeks. So. You will find out everything that she's gonna pack in the... Going to the hospital video. Go into the hospital bag. <laughs> and then you will find out that I'll pack two sets of clothes and my camera and my laptop. That way we can edit the video while we're in the hospital. <laughs> um, 
Are you gonna take your pillow? No. Oh, you better take your pillow. So other than that, I think the biggest thing that has changed in the last two to three weeks has been my sleep patterns. I have started getting excellent sleep through the night. When I fall asleep, I pretty much stay asleep. I wake up during the night, I go right back to sleep. It's been a huge blessing. It's made work better because <laughs> uh, I'm getting six to seven hours of sleep every night as opposed to four to six, so it's amazing. I also get six hours of sleep every night in case you guys are wondering. You do, you're doing a great job. Pregnancy hasn't messed with you a it, bit. It hasn't affected me too much. I still eat normal. That hadn't, I hadn't been affected in that aspect either. No sickness. And I've been able to feel the baby kick some. This baby, not this one, this one. <laughs> We're so proud of you and all that. And you know, it's funny for a while there when the baby started kicking, Margot would be like, hey, come here, put your hand on and she would quit kicking. But I think now she's got a little more bold where she would kick when I when I put my hand on there. So that, that's cute. That's been exciting to be able to feel her kick. So we're looking forward to be able to bring her home. So that's just a quick update from us about Margaret's surgery, the baby, 36 weeks for Margaret. Just a couple more weeks and she'll be here. And we are very excited about that. We are getting everything together. Our families have been very excited to meet her. And we are very excited to see her. We hope that she will be here in three weeks, two weeks, three weeks, instead of waiting a whole four, four, four weeks. <laughs> We're a little impatient. Yeah, but also, um, you know, Margaret is little, so we don't <laughs> want the baby to be too big cooking in there. And I hope that in the next couple weeks, there'll be a video every week to update you guys on stuff. I am giving in on one Christmas tradition this year, and hopefully that will be next week's video after the baby's room tour. A lot of changes, a lot of giving in for John this year. You're doing such a great job. I'm so proud of you. For the first time since I have known him, I am changing his mind about an important tradition. This year only. And changing his mind about something that he feels strongly about folks let me just tell you it hasn't happened up until now no more weddings for the rest of the year until next year so uh, we'll be home and we'll be working we'll be waiting for the baby anyways if you're new here i'm glad you're here if you've been here before thank you so much and you gotta show him our, our little kid i'll show you our little kid who found his new bed so my mom got this cute little pink elephant mat that is designed for babies to lay on, look cute on, and be very soft for a baby. And here's our baby. <laughs> so. He found his new bed. He's been sleeping on it all week. So. I don't think anymore that it's going to be for Caitlin because I think if we were to lay her on it, he's gonna come and be offended that we've put somebody on his bed. I did tell my mom, I don't think it's for Caitlin anymore. Wilson, Wilson. You disturbed his Royal Highness. The other thing that we are very confident on is that when the baby comes, he will just love the baby. A lot of people are not as confident in that, but that's okay. They're hating on him. They're hating on him. They say that he's going to be mean, he's not gonna love her. I have been telling him for weeks about his baby sister. And he's been very excited. I have complete confidence that he is going to be a precious little angel, be very used to her. I just know he is. And part of the reason I think is our nieces who come over here, he's not used to. He didn't grow up with them. But I think when Caitlin comes and there's this little baby and that's his little baby, then I think he'll become more protective of her. I'm just confident. So anyways, yeah, that's the end of this video.